Hello everybody, my name is Puff, and I recently came up with this new 8 furnace smelter design. It's really simple and easy to build, and uh, I just wanted to show it off because it's using the new boat mechanics. Uh, yeah, the boat chest, which has a full chest inventory in it, as you can see here. And so everything in here gets picked up at uh, 8 times hopper speed, and then it gets distributed evenly among all of the furnaces here. And then this guy goes around the whole thing distributing fuel um and yeah it's really simple to build really good early game into even late game you can still do eight times furnace speed which means you know you get items pretty quickly it's not like super fast or anything but i mean come on it's better than just having a two furnace or a one furnace setup so i thought it was a pretty cool design to share i'm not going to do a tutorial it's here I'll, I'll get a nice screenshot angle for you guys um yeah there you go so there should be all the angles you need to build it. I don't, yeah, here, here I might get one underneath here. And yeah, all these hoppers at the bottom are just facing into this barrel here. Uh, and then aligning the boat is the only funky thing you gotta do. There's a couple ways to do it. Um, honey blocks is one way to do it. And I believe uh, sea pickles or another good way to do it. So honey blocks, you do like this, you get your boats, uh, your boat chest of any kind, it doesn't matter. Place it down uh, and then you wanna kinda just move it right into the center here and then push forward with your four key. Um, and then I like to go F5 and then F3B to see. I'll hop out and then, um, I'll check to see if it's over the top of these hoppers. And I personally like the sea pickles a bit better. Um, you know, doing two sea pickles like that, it's slightly less than a, um, a honey block too. So I'll do it like that and then I'll just push into the sea pickle like so. Um, make sure it's over the sides. And then you can get rid of the sea pickles if you want, or you can even put like some bars around to keep the boat secure. Totally up to you guys. Um, and then of course, one nice thing that I would recommend doing is adding some sort of mob into the boat. Um, that way, when you click on the boat chest, you don't actually jump into the boat. So that way it's just, you click it and you can put the items in is super nice but yeah thank you guys for watching i'll see you in another video uh, if you haven't checked out afterlife smp i'll probably be building this up in my world in my starter base just because it's nice and simple and easy um and if you want to see other contraptions like this just pop up in survival i'd recommend checking out the afterlife series oh and if you also want to know the story of my pajamas check out afterlife that's enough of plugging that series bye bye